I'll just I'll start with a quick uh, comment on the game. Uh, okay. There were there were positives in this game. Um, the ending was uh, was difficult. Uh, we did a lot of good things to battle and and stay in it, and we got it to. 99-98, that was, uh, we had a couple of shots to take the lead, they didn't go down. And then from there, um, you know, they made some, they made some great plays offensively and, and uh, you know, we had tough luck off uh, at the, at our end. So, um, you know, it's a disappointing loss, but I thought we, we, we fought hard and, and just, uh, you know, they got us in the, down the stretch. Okay, thanks. We'll start questions with Saad. Hey, Rick, how important was it just to get that production from KP, not, not only the whole game, but especially that stretch there early in the fourth quarter uh, when Luca was out to, to where he could not only sustain the game, but also help bring you guys back? Yeah, he, he, did, uh, he did a lot of great things. He, he had a really good stretch where he was creating problems with cuts, getting fouled, getting to the free throw line. He banged in a couple of threes. Um, activity was really good. And so that's a, that's a big positive, um, you know, and then, then he did get, then he did get tired and it was clear the right time to, to get him out and get him a blow. But uh, look, he's worked extremely hard. That's been well documented. Um, and, uh, you know, he did a lot of really good things in the game. Okay, next up is going to be Isaac Harris, Mavs.com. Yeah, Rick, uh, what allowed Zubats to be so effective tonight? Well, some of it was his screening created problems. And, you know, George came off screens a couple times. We had to, we had to help. And, you know, they were able to find him for, for a lot of easy baskets. There were some situations where we ended up switching on, on dead hit screen type situations. And, you know, he just does it. He did a great job of shaping up and they found him. Uh, but, you know, 10 for 10 is we, we can we can do better than that. Um, you know, he had a great game, but I think we can I think we can play him better than that. OK, um, next is going to be Dan Wokey. Hey, Rick, um, how valuable is it? I mean, th this is a really good chance that you're going to see these guys again here in, in a, a week or so. How valuable is that? Is it to have this kind of game footage this close to a playoff series? Oh, this, listen, everybody here is finding value in everything. You know, um, every time you look at practice footage, game footage, you name it, it's all meaningful. Um, but, you know, in terms of uh, where we are and, and with these guys as a possible or likely playoff opponent, um, you know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do some things better. Um, you know, they, they, they were able to, to, to only turn the ball over eight times. We only turned the ball over eight times. So from that standpoint, it was a very efficient game. But, uh, you know, they kind of went through us and jumped over us too many times. And, and, uh, and, and I know we can do better in those areas. Okay, um, next up's Eddie. Rick, they uh, get 103 points in the last three quarters and then 25 in the last six or seven minutes. Uh, obviously, they're a good offensive team, but what was going on defensively that, that uh, uh, let them do uh, kind of go off there? Well, they went with a, a, a lineup of a lot of like-sized guys um, and did a lot of switching, and they got had a lot of good defenders out there. So they make it hard. Um, but we had some opportunities um, that we didn't convert on, and, and you know, we'll look at the film and, and, and find ways we can do better. Okay, we'll have one more. This is from Tadeha. I hope I'm saying that right. I believe she's Slovenian. You need to unmute, Tadeha. Yes. Great. Hi, can you hear me? I can yes. hear. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what have you been seeing from Luca so far in the bubble? Uh, he's, he's had a great training camp. Um, you know, I, I think defensively, he's playing the best he's ever played. Uh, and, you know, from a leadership standpoint, you know, he's our leader on the floor. He's been been terrific. Um, look, we know statistically that he's going to produce a lot. Uh, but ultimately, 
the number one thing with him is winning. And so uh, I know he won't be happy with this game today, uh, even though he had a lot of points and so forth. But I see just continued improvement in his game in all areas. Thanks, Rick. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.